Welcome to the Big Movement Podcast. If you're ready to create results and make huge strides in your business, finances, personal development, and health, then you're in the right place. Pushing past excuses and powering through procrastination can be a challenge alone. Here, you'll get the support, tools, and knowledge you need to get to the level you desire in your business and life. Let's get started with your host, Byron Ingram. And welcome to another episode of the podcast. Today, we're talking about why you must start with why. Everyone who becomes an entrepreneur does so for different reasons, whether it's they lose a job or they want to increase the amount of time they can spend with family or friends, they want to travel. Everyone's reason is different. However, it is extremely important that we know exactly why we embark upon this journey so we can better understand how we serve others. And why this is important is so many times you'll meet somebody and you're wondering, how in the world are they in this business where you think it just doesn't fit them because you see them as one way, but they're doing something else that's not in alignment with themselves. This is why you must start with why. And it's important as well because you're going on a journey. It's not simply you're going to put out a table in front of your house and like have a lemonade stand, nothing like when you were a kid or anything, you're going to do something that's going to transform your life. You're going to do something where you're going to spend the vast majority of your waking hours in the day working on. So it's important and vital to know that this is something that makes you happy, where it resonates with you instead of you kind of feel like, eh, it's crap. Think of how many people, when it comes to Monday morning, after a weekend where they had fun, The two words that come out of their mouth when they first wake up on Monday morning is, ah, crap. That's not what you want when you are starting a business for yourself. You want to be excited. You want to feel fulfilled. You want to just be full of enthusiasm because you're making a difference. So this is why it's important to know that when you're starting a business in the first place, it has to resonate with who you are and your purpose. Because this business is going to be a rock that you're going to lean on. It's going to be that rock you're going to lean on when times are tough. Because if someone says to you, everything is being an entrepreneur, starting a business is going to be smooth sailing. It's going to be like you're on the Autobahn driving, you know, at 150 miles an hour, no problems. They're full of it because you're going to have ups and downs. It's going to be like a roller coaster and you're going to get stuck at the top and you're like, well, this is a bunch of crap being up here. You're going to have those times happen. But at the same time, You're going to have those moments where you're celebrating and your why becomes that rock that you stand on top of and you shout to the world and say, I did it. But when you look at that, why has to resonate with you at your core? Because if it doesn't, guess what happens? You will find it hard to wake up and do things. As an example, think of the people that you've met, that they've started a business simply to make money but they quickly find themselves empty on the inside. You can find this in a whole bunch of arenas. You might see this a lot in direct sales, and direct sales is a great business model, but you're going to find people that they're like, oh, you can make all this money sort of doing it, but it's not in alignment with who they are and what they want to accomplish. And guess what happens? They're just going through the motions, talking to people, but it's not having impact. So you have to make sure that whatever you do, it's in alignment with yourself. And if you're pretty unsure, well, what do you mean? I want you to imagine for a moment, what happens if you just give your body junk food on a daily basis? In the short term, it solves a problem. Long term, it takes a toll on your health and does more harm than good. If you remember, there was a movie several years ago, you can find on Netflix and, you know, other places like that, but that movie called Super Size Me. He was a person that went from being in amazing health at the beginning of this journey. And by the end of it, his doctor's like, you are going to die. But yet, this is what people are doing in their business. They're giving themselves junk food. They're not resonating. So because of it, while they're just going through the motions, they may thinking, hey, I, I'm solving a problem. I'm fulfilling a need. But in reality, they're not feeding the the inside. They're filling their soul with what is necessary to be living on purpose because their why is going to define that. So you must make sure you're giving your body what it needs. And it starts with knowing what your why is. So you're being fulfilled instead of giving it to something that's empty calories to go through each and every day.
because that business that you decided it must be fulfilling inside and out and fulfillment if you're unsure like well what is being in terms of business it can simply be defined as you're being happy is at its root emotion you should feel a level of excitement every day when you're working and you should be able to look at what you've done in your business by the end of the day and feel accomplished not just feel like well i did something but i don't feel like it did anything you should never feel that way you should know that hey even the smallest thing you know that you made a difference in someone's life another way to look at it and see well is this why does it really make sense why i'm doing this business i want you to close your eyes for a moment please don't do this if you're driving because that would be a little awkward just do this exercise when you are someplace nice and safe but i want you to do close your eyes just turn off all the stimuli and imagine for a moment you know just fast forward in your business 10 years and think about that perfect day how you're going about it are you just as excited about your business 10 years from now as you are today if the answer is anything but an absolute yes you need to reevaluate your business and examine how does it resonate with your why in life is it the right business for you what do you need to change so it does resonate because if it's not fulfilling in 10 years then why are you doing it because you want to build a business that's going to become part of your life it's not just something like, oh, I'm just doing it for a little bit to make ends meet. I get it. You know, people have to make money and all, but you want to build something. If you look at businesses that have lasted for generations, they had a solid why in place. Why did they do it? You look at a company like Apple. It's about the experience that people are having, about the simplicity, the elegance, that style. That's what keeps it going. But look at the a number of tech companies that started in that same era and are no longer here because they didn't have that solid why, that solid vision of what they want to accomplish. This is why it's so critical to do that. And ultimately, see, your why is going to determine the culture within your business. This is why a lot of these businesses didn't survive. I want you to think for a moment about the business that you have and compare this to the businesses out there. That if when you go to them, they welcome you with open arms like, hey, how's it going? They're giving you high fives. They're excited. Okay, maybe not to that actually, but you know, they're friendly. They're, they're warm and welcoming. You feel like you're wanted there and you want to do business with them. You have no problems going there just to hang out for a little bit like, oh my gosh, because you love the staff. Like how some people go to a regular Starbucks because they got to know the people in there. Or if you go shopping at Nordstrom's, they'll send you notes like, hey, those think of you. We got this new shipment in. Of, you know, it's just up your, your alley. It's that type of remark for right because that why resonates. Now, I want you to compare this to places that you feel like you're being a bother to them. If you ask them for anything like, like, hi, can you help me with this? And they give you that story like, whoa, I'm going to pull my hand back before it gets snapped off. Like, like you're trying to pet a shark or something. That's not the culture you want in a business. And that can really resonate with a why. This is why it's so critical. You understand your why so you can attract the right people. Your why is going to determine the success that you have. So you might as well build it as a solid foundation. Just like I said before, it's that rock and you want everybody to lean on that rock. So it becomes the same foundation, regardless of how big your business becomes. And that why is going to determine who you have as part of your team. And it's also going to determine who will you have as clientele. So you attract the exact people you want. So it becomes one large family. And that's what you want to do. So what I want you to do at this moment is to evaluate your business in its current form and see if it's in alignment with your why in life. If not, then simply ask yourself, what can you do to create a shift so then it aligns with your why, resulting in a fulfilled lifestyle for you and your family? So do me a favor. Go ahead and click that share button because there's someone out there I know who's an entrepreneur, they're a business owner who needs to hear this message so they can discover their why again and make those little shifts in their business so they can start attracting the team members they need and attracting the clientele they want. Because sometimes that shift, it's not making dramatic differences. 
it's making a shift that's one or two millimeters. That's it. One or two percent of an adjustment. And that's all it takes to change the course of an entire business. So go out there, share this episode and have an amazing day. Thanks for listening to the Big Movement Podcast today. And be sure to subscribe so you don't miss an episode. Now that you've surely been inspired to take your entrepreneurial career and business to the next level, you can stop by the website and get more. And if you're ready to boost your business brand, be sure to grab your free report, Seven Easy Steps to Build Your Brand Today.